Hi guys, Nick60 here, and holy crap, it's yet another non-combat arms related video. This time, <coughs> this time we're looking at World of Tanks, which is a free online action game that I've discovered that is really, really cool in my opinion. Uh, I absolutely love it, and um, it is ultra realistic. And uh, this isn't the game review itself. Uh, I'm still working on a video for that, but right now what we're going to be looking at is just some gameplay. And first of all, I'm gonna have to give you guys a heads up because you, because I, uh, you have to know this up front. You have to repair your tank and purchase ammo. Yeah, no free ammo. But you get uh, credits pretty quickly and. Uh, yeah, it's not too, too bad. So, what are we going to look at first? We're going to look at the German Licht Traktor. Also nicknamed the LOL Tracker. Um, I have mine fully upgraded. Uh, as you can see, there's three available guns. This is the starter gun. This is the uh, latest gun. Uh, latest turret, best engine, treads, radio, so on and so forth. Now, for this gun, your priority is going to be the engine and then the treads. Um, the, yeah, those are going to be the two things you want to upgrade first because it is agonizingly slow in its uh, lowest form. Radio is always important, but for this tank, you're going to prioritize those. Okay, so this is the German starter tank. <coughs> it is uh, fairly small. I mean... Okay, it's actually fairly big for a tank of its class. The Cunningham and the MS-1, for you history buffs, it's better known as the T-18, but MS-1 was an official designation, uh, are definitely smaller. So, yeah. Let's see this thing in action, and I'll talk more about it then. Uh, you know, so I'll talk about this while we wait. This is the starter. This is the starter game, uh, where you can... Uh, screen, sorry. And, yeah, you just wait there until you get shunted to a match. As you can see, you don't get to pick where you're going. Uh, there's other modes that you can pick, but this is just a standard battle, which is random assignment. And that's not too, too bad. As you can see, there's a lot of lol trackers, uh, licked tractors <laughs> in this match. Um, and that's how they keep it balanced. These aren't uh, country-sorted teams. So, be careful. You can't say, oh, he's a German, you gotta shoot him, or oh, he's a Russian, you gotta shoot him, or oh, he's American, you gotta shoot him. You gotta pay attention to who's actually on your team, and this will be heavily team-based. So, I'm on the far end. There's the rest of my team. You can zoom in and out with the mouse. As you can see now, the turret does not turn as fast as uh, your mouse does. That's pretty realistic. And the crosshairs, as you can see, don't go down too particularly fast. Now, you see that rapid fire auto cannon? You're probably sitting there thinking immediately, unrealistic. That isn't true. The auto cannon, uh, there were real auto cannons available, or at the very least, researched. So, I got one too. And there's the reload. So it's a fast reload, but fairly inaccurate gun. Now, the Lick Tracker is, Tractor is a uh, fairly big for a low tier tank. It's uh, a little awkward. But between the, uh, between the available low tier tanks when fully upgraded, it does the best against other tier 1 tanks. But it does the worst without any upgrades. It doesn't have this. Oopsies. I didn't think he'd start moving like that. It doesn't have the uh, speed of the T T1 or the uh, armor of the MS1. So let's see her in action. Looks like that one went right through. Okay. I landed a couple shots but didn't kill him. But don't worry, that still gets you points. Let's see someone else. 
the gun it doesn't the gun isn't particularly uh, damaging and I'm taking shots and that is it for the lol tracker see these are higher tier tanks that tank that took me out was definitely uh, tier 2 possibly even tier 3 so yeah and there is the remains of my licked tractor so as you can see uh, against higher tier tanks it does poorly all of them do admittedly uh, depending on the strategy you use the uh, the uh, lick tractor is uh, the worst of the three against higher tier tanks so uh, yeah like I, like I said against tanks of equal tier it's the best ones fully upgraded against tanks of other tier it's the worst uh, the you can, it's not really uh, small enough to do a whole lot of hiding unless there's a lot of trees like what I was trying to do but I gave away my position pretty quickly um, you'll spend a lot of time doing basically what this guy's doing which is what I was doing uh, find a target and bombard it the gun does a whole lot better at close range it really really does so yeah that's pretty much it there's not a whole lot to say about this tank if you're using it upgrades fast it needs them it really does and then like I said you'll do well against other tier 1 tanks but there's a lot of other tiers in this match so just all depends that's what it looks like when it first comes out As you can see, this guy's moving slower than I did. So yeah, that pretty much covers it for the Licked Tractor. Um, next up will be the uh, MS-1. And again, for anyone who wants a, or the other name, uh, the T-18 for uh, historical purposes. Um, so yeah. That's it for now. Nick60 signing off.